Microsoft says their antivirus now plays nice in the sandbox. Hey Matt, um, so I hear you have a pretty cool story about some new uh, upgrades to Windows Defender. Yeah, so Microsoft announced recently that Windows Defender is now capable of running entirely inside a sandbox. Well, let's say, well, well maybe not entirely. <laughs> so that's the interesting thing about it, and they do go into detail in their blog post, because the decision to run to a sandbox has some benefits, uh, but it also requires you to sort of separate the functions of what you would consider a normal antivirus. The reason you would sandbox your antivirus is that antivirus is a very complex set of software that has to open and handle different file types and different sorts of handles to other objects. And the more complex software is, generally that's when you start to see uh, interesting bugs creep in that make it vulnerable. So sandboxing is a great idea because you can then limit the impact of those sorts of things. So if, you know, even if somebody manages to compromise the AV, they can't get very far from there. There's other, there are hoops they might have to jump through to get out of that sandbox. <laughs> the way that Microsoft went ahead and implemented this, which I think is the right way to do it, is to separate the functions of opening up files and getting handles to other objects, and then passing the content that needs to be analyzed into the sandbox. And that's where everything that has to actually parse stuff runs, the things that have a potential for being vulnerable, uh, which is kind of interesting. Uh, they talk a lot about the different ways, um, things they've added to code running inside the sandbox. So like when you're in the sandbox, no other code can run, only signed code can run, you know, all the usual mitigations that you've, you would find in a Windows system that might be turned on, might be turned off, it's all turned on inside the sandbox. Um, it sounds like they put a lot of thought into it. If people want to try it out, the instructions are publicly available for enabling this within Windows Defender and Windows 10. So I would say, you know, if you have the time and the interest, try it out. I personally don't know of any other antivirus that does something like this, although I was very curious because Microsoft made a big deal and said, you know, this is the first time that a fully functional AV has been able to do this. Mm. Well, it turns out it's not technically true because somebody else was able to get uh, an antivirus running within a, uh, a sandbox, and that was also Windows Defender. So about a year ago, a group called Trail of Bits decided to give it a shot oh. and found a way to get it running within inside a sandbox. So this may be a response. I mean, it's been about a year, and Microsoft may have seen the value of this sort of not super production-worthy version of a sandbox version of Defender, but at least a proof of concept that shows that, yeah, this will run, it'll all work, um, but this seems to have a lot more spit and polish on it, and a little more um, thought towards like I/O inside and outside of the the sandbox. Because passing things through that gate uh, can get pretty intensive, so they had to make some decisions as: Do I pass a whole file through? Do I pass the parts of the file that I need? You know, how much of it wow. can I? How far can I tune it for performance instead of you know? So it's a really cool article. I think it's worth reading. Yeah. No. I mean, I think it's. A, I mean, I think it's a good thing. Obviously, we'll. You know be sitting here waiting for, you know, some story to pop maybe six months, a year from now about how they, you know, how a sample has managed to figure out that it actually is running in this mm -hmm. contained version and how it managed to find its way off of it and onto the real OS, right? Yep. So I, I imagine there's, people are going to start taking shots at this immediately. Right. I think six months is a long time. <laughs> That's <away>. right. <laughs> um, I was kind of curious because it sounds like they wrote the code to work both in a sandbox version and outside of sandbox. Like the same code that knows that. Okay. It can tell the difference uh, and work in both environments. I wonder if there's some flag somewhere that says, do I run in sandbox mode today or not? Because it seems to be determined at runtime. So if you could if you could force it out of the sandbox because of a flag, that that would make me a little nervous, right? If it's something that you could pass to it to say, okay, get out of that get out of that sandbox. I agree, uh, and it seems kind of a weird thing that they would they would mention that yes, this is some sort of runtime decision that gets made. If you can influence the decision, you can effectively set the flag. I think, so we'll see. So I, I give it I give it a month well, before we see our wow. first cracks in this armor. <laughs> okay.
the mere fact that it is running in a sandbox is something that everybody should be looking to do. So, you know, hopefully it will get to a point where Microsoft, it's just standard, right? It will just run that way on all of their operating systems.